right. Hello, 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 everybody. Hopefully everyone's doing pretty well. It's 12.50 p.m. here in a uh, rainy, cloudy... Well, the rain kind of just ended. I'm going to go out for a little bit of a walk, chewing at Burger King. Uh, Sunday, I guess. You know, I've had, I've had, I've taken some good time off. I'm feeling a lot better. So, you know, there's, uh, right now launches are kind of a little slow. Actually, they're very slow. Uh, I'll explain that in just a bit. So, you know, things are looking all right. And, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of just big chilling, you know. The weekend, as always, crypto goes down, except Sphere, of course, which is four and a half, four point six cents, doing very, very well. And I actually filed my taxes yesterday. So, uh, not too bad. You know, both New York and IRS accepted it, so that's that. And it actually made me start thinking, okay, if I start making money again, I'm going to have to be paying a lot of taxes. So, you know, this morning I actually spent a lot of time looking back at and re-researching -re offshore companies. And this time around, you know, I'm a different man. I'm smarter. I've returned fully back to God and all that stuff, doing the sign of prayer. And now I'm able to basically figure out, oh, okay, now I understand how rich people legally, legally, L-E-G-A-L, L-Y, pay no taxes or very little. So in my case, I think I wind up paying pretty much nothing. Right, because basically what I'll do is I'll just set up like a. Obviously, I have to hire like a professional that does this. So I'm going to go with offshorecompany.com, and I'll just talk to them about my particular situation. But basically, I'll create like a foreign offshore company that's its own entity, and that will be the one that does all the crypto handling, the bank accounts, and actually buying up real estate. I, my I, Judson Chad, will actually owe nothing legally. The, like and, and I'm only gonna pay myself a dollar. You might have heard these situations where like Mark Zuckerberg, you know, his salary is a dollar. Jeff Bezos, his salary is a dollar. There's an actual legal reason for that, right? So if you actually look at how Mark Zuckerberg, because he's like the most recent example that I remember. If you actually look at his compensation, he actually doesn't get anything. But instead, Facebook compensates him. That's the key word there. With stuff, meaning the company I think still owns it, but they just happen to just give it to whoever. That whoever happens to be Mark Zuckerberg. Well, who runs Mark uh, Facebook? Well, or Mark Zuckerberg, right? You get the idea. So now I do the exact same thing, and that's how you actually play the game. You know, now that I see what's happening in America and everyone else also apparently is, because I also been tweeting a little bit about that. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, I kind of don't, you know, it's like, you know, I'm going to do my part, you know, I'm going to do my part. And there's nothing really the IRS can do about it, right, because that's just how it goes. Oh, they don't like it? Well, maybe they should tell the set their bosses at the central bank and the U.S. Treasury Department, you know, and say, hey, can you, like, you know, get rid of globalism, right, get rid of globalism so I can collect taxes? And they're like, oh, well, that's not how it works. Like, oh. <laughs> so... Well, like I said, you know, because, like, there is a thing where you create an offshore company, you're a signer or whatever, then you have to tell that to the IRS. So that, that still remains the same. But the thing is, apparently there's actually a way I don't have to do that because, again, I have someone else, you know, do all that. So whatever. So I spent some time researching. It looks solid. So I'll eventually do that. And I won't have to come up with 24 grand for Nomad Capitalist because that's what their minimum is. And they also require that you're worth at least 500 grand thousand. So I kind of, it's like, okay, I got to go with someone else. So, and what I want isn't that uh, complicated. So, and then eventually after the offshore company does its thing, I'll set up charities and charitable foundations, just like the Democrats do. You know, Republicans tend to, you know, make, I don't know, think tanks or something, but it's all basically the same bullshit. So it's basically legalized money laundering scams. That's, that's really what it is. So it's uh, it's actually quite uh, interesting, quite interesting. I don't know, maybe I might do a video on that someday after I try it out. So anyway, uh, things are pretty slow. I kind of forgot who suggested this project to me, Ghost DeFi. It might a uh, .io. It might have been someone on my YouTube comments. It could have been in the Elite Discord. At this point, I don't even remember. So anyway, they finally have launched. According to XYZ over here, they've renounced one of their contracts, so probably the PEG token. They stealth launched, and they also have a nice little, uh, you know, 4.1. They have a nice little PEG thing over here. 
So looks looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Ooh, Skake Finance. Mmm, that looks tasty. Yeah, Minus Finance on Polygon. Yeah, go figure. You know, I, mean, I should do the uh, Smart APR uh, video because I've been getting kind of lazy. And I, I don't know. Should I? Oh, I'll add that back to the content queue. Oh, it's actually still there. I don't know. I think maybe I'll do it tomorrow, right? In, 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 you know, because I don't think I'll be doing any launches tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, so... Right now things are a little slow, and now I kind of personally, like after Auto and Octro have been going down, and Aura to a certain degree, yeah, I've dumped pretty much all, I dumped them all, basically, and I just put it all into Web3. Now I want to focus personally on investing my money in high quality projects. So not only does their website have to look really effing good, but they have to have a team, like at, at a minimum, so... You know, and usually the easiest way for me to see that is their website, because that means they have to pay people a lot of money to hire really smart designers, which indicates that they probably will hire other smart people to do the other stuff. You know, because only Web3 is doing well, right? Sphere is doing well. High Point's also doing pretty well, though it's under a little corrective phase, you know, along with Titano. But the point is, you know, I need to invest in smarter people who know what they're doing. So that's what I'm still going to cover. And then I'll still pick like random projects that I see on XYZ site. Of course, they have to be live and obviously not rub pulling. Right. You know, and I'll do the same with the Titano fork page. I mean, this one's going to be a lot riskier, right? Because I'm literally just going off of this. Right. And uh, it, it's, you know, you're going to have a, it, it's going to be an issue because a lot of these Titano forks are just going to do shit. So. You know, but hey, you know, content's content, so it's up to you, right? Yeah, you know, if anything, you just want to follow what I do. If I put my money into it, then, you know, you got to do the standard thing, right? If you, yeah, and then, of course, pull profits every day, you know. You know it, even though that the value of these projects goes down, because you're pulling profits every day, it's just like the 808 coin, 808 coin days back in 2016, 2017, right? You're, 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 you're literally printing money out of thin air. So you got to pull that thin air money out before it literally evaporates, right? So, that, so that's why you don't have to really worry that much about the price going down. So for example, I've got my money back on Code 7, Hamster, and even Apex, right? You know, because I've been, because it's been a while now. It's been like, I guess, many weeks, maybe even five weeks. I don't even know when, like, I know I put it, put my money in the day I did the video, all right? I've been pulling money constantly, you know, for my yield wall. My yield wall still keeps compounding, right? So, well, that's it. I mean, I just generate free money now. So that's why once Merica money, right, because I'm starting to build that up, once that goes on yield wolf, that'll be great. I already put money into tea piggy, so that's producing me money now, right? You know, and now that, and after an initial look at this project, it looks pretty good. So, yeah, I mean, it's still above peg, so that's why I'm not going to put my money in it, but there... But they are, I already took a look at this. They're using the smart APR system. I didn't even check their documents yet. That's what I forgot to do. But I can already tell that they're using the smart APR system. So once this goes on Yield Wolf, right, I'll put some money into this too, you know. Right now, I I don't know. Do I really want to say this? Yeah, I don't have the offshore company set up yet. I mean, I, I haven't even, I mean, I still haven't even cleared the money yet for my bank account so I could pay rent this month. So, you know, but... But yeah, you know, I would I would put like something I would put like a like an okay bag in this too, and I'll just be I'll join America money and all my other bags on you know Yield Wolf, right? So I, I don't know. This is this like thing on my elbow, like this little scab of skin that's irritating. I mean, it's clean and white, but it's just yeah. All right. Anyway, so I mean that's all that ramble. Who knows? But. Anyway, this looks pretty good. They stealth launched, so naturally, you know, not a whole lot of TVL. Their genesis is obviously over, and of course, it's got, you know, the standard spooky, spooky, spooky thing, all right, because they're not phantom. Okay, so they're one-to-one -one peg, so not the greatest, right, but at this point, everyone does, you know, one-to-one -one peg, even peg makers under a lot of trouble. Uh, I actually offloaded my position in that a while ago, right, when I think... Peg maker went down to like 12 cents or 20 cents or something. I don't mean, it might be up now a little bit, or I don't know, I haven't checked, but I definitely made some good bank off of Peg Maker. It kind of sucks that it couldn't last <laughs> longer, but that's okay. Um, that's it. I mean, you know what? I could check real quick. Let's just see what they're doing. 
Uh, come on. Uh, wow. Ouch. I don't. I, I don't actually know what they're doing. That's wrong. Huh. I guess maybe because well, they did come out with their own auto compounder. I wonder if that had something to do with it. I don't know. That's a shame. That's a shame. They're because they're a good project. So I don't know why Peg Maker is having so much trouble. But um, oh well. So anyway, Ghost DeFi uh, is looking pretty good. The share price I actually find pretty attractive. It's actually pretty low, and the peg itself is actually pretty high. Specifically, it's 4.17 above peg. You know, but if you look at the daily APRs, it's actually pretty uh, pretty solid here. You know, basically 30 to 32 percent or 31 to 32 percent. I'm gonna I'm gonna rise right on the YouTube like 32% daily APR. So if I take a look at this, the annual APR is 11,500, which has a TVL of only 10 of 11,000. If I click over here, this has more TVL. Uh, okay, let me think. Okay, so this is not using the smart APR system technically because they weighted all the rewards towards the share price. Hmm, interesting. I mean, yeah, all right, but, hmm, that's weird. 24,000. This was 11,000. Uh, but their home pay, so I guess the rest of it is, I guess the rest of it is counting this, which doesn't really tell me anything. And of course, their, AP, uh, their daily APR is like, okay. All right, so I thought they were using the smart APR system, but clearly, based on the numbers, they're not. So that could actually be an issue. Well, let's take a look. Here's their base peg, bottomed out, now doing better. Here it is. I mean, I guess it's kind of a gamble, but I don't generally like that. Yeah, see, I mean, look at their share price. It's already, uh, yeah, I mean, it bounced a little bit off the bottom. I mean, it is at the bottom. So they're going to have a problem when they go down. Hmm. Ghost token, ghost distribution. Again, they're still using the standard 4.5%. I don't like that. I did check off, off stream if I had to record one. Their current epoch is number 8. So they are already printing. Bonds mechanism, nope, contracts, wallets, platform. Let's see, did you at least tell us the shares? So it's over six months. Here we go. So right over off the bat, you can see that they're not using the smart APR system. All right, because right now Brando's working hard on America money, right? You know, America. So he's he, so it's battling pretty well. So you know it's it's finally settled down. I think. In fact, I actually made capital gains profit like thirty bucks yesterday, right? Because I did single staking evil. Yeah. Now now I put it into the LP, right? So it's doing pretty well. It's doing pretty well. Ghost FTM LP, Ghost Chair FTM LP, uh, G Share. I mean. So yeah, so they're not using the smart APR system. Oh, that's a shame. So you know what? I'm gonna have to take this off my list then. I mean, I could always re-double check someday. Uh, that's a shame. They're not using the smart APR system. I thought they really were. But still, I mean, you know, they're doing okay. So I guess maybe you want to try to work this for like a few days, and then you may want to dump it. I mean, I don't know. I don't like playing. I don't like playing like that. You know, and they are doing over six months, so. I think it's gonna crash. I think it might crash and burn pretty quick, uh, possibly if it hasn't already. Uh, but surprisingly, it is kind of stable. So I, I don't know. But this thing is really distracting me. This this this, this elbow thing that it's just it's just a small speck of like loose skin that's just like stuck, and it's like I don't uh, I can't get rid of it. I can't get rid of it. I might, Tear it out, I'm going to start bleeding, so I don't want that either. All right, so, well, at least they were nice enough to provide the thing. So anyway, here's their charts. I mean, we already kind of looked at it. I also did some rambling. How long are we stuck in here? Yeah, you're stuck in here for 36 hours. Like, this just sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. 
So, I don't know, I guess, I guess if you're really wanting to gamble, you could try staking your shares in here, take the risk for 36 hours, and then every epoch, pretty much just dump all your peg token ghost shares, you know, to, uh, you know, get your money back. Now, I did, I did want to say that one of the reasons why I thought it was a smart APR system is because both the circulating supply on everything is, like, really, really low. Now, they did do stealth launch, so I'm under the impression now, because I don't actually see the word Genesis here. I'm actually under the impression now that they literally just did a stealth launch, no Genesis pool. So, this could actually last for, like, a short while. So, I'm personally going to not do it, because, you know, I like to buy and hold, right? And then extract income. All right, that seems to be the play for me personally when it comes to Tomb Forks. So that way, as I extract profits, you know, 95% of the time, the thing's going to go down in value. And then, yeah, it kind of sucks, but I kind of, well, A, I got to have to get used to it because nothing I can do about it. And then B, that's actually how you make, you know, good money because as long as it doesn't go to zero, for example, if you look at, at um, Piggy, if you look at Piggy, right? As long as they don't go too crazy far below, like right now, there's one good thing about Piggy Finance. I was a little harsh in that video, right? But there is one good thing about it. They do seem to be able to maintain like a price basically throughout being below pay. <laughs> so as long as I could do that, I'm extracting profits from them. Not only will I get all my money back, but I'll start generating cash flow from, you know, T Piggy basically. You know, so what works for me. You know, I still think that ultimately, though, I mean, I don't know. I, I really, I'm really hoping that Brandon or Brando is going to do pretty well. And I really do think America Money really will be, uh, you know, pretty much my second best performing Tomb 4. Because the first best performing Tomb 4 by far is still paper financial. I mean, I basically consider that a stablecoin project to me personally. Now, it still goes up and down, but... You know, I'm quite happy with Paper Financial, so it's just a matter of whenever they, you know, launch, uh, you know, launch on Harmony. So, anyway, I think that's about it. I'm going to go get my Burger King now. I'm pretty sure by now it should be done raining. So, you can check this out. I already looked at a lot of these basic things. And if I really wanted money and I didn't have anything better to do, yeah, I would totally play with this. I mean, 30%, 30... I wish it would stop changing. I'm going to write 31% daily APR. If I really wanted to take advantage of this APR, yeah, I would totally, like, I don't know, what would I actually do? Would I actually try the share prices and then do the LP, right? I don't know, it would be kind of hard. I mean, this would be something, this would be a project that Renzo would very much be interested in. Because he likes to play the, the, these crazy gambles and he makes a crap load of money and then he pulls it all his money out, uh, kind of. So, I don't know, like... I'm sure some of you watch Renzo, right? So just bring this project up to him in case, assuming he doesn't even know about it. I mean, you know, so. But yeah, anyway, check out ghostdefi.io. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I thought they were using a smart APR system, but, you know, uh, it's not. However, you know, very low circulating supply. So this could last for, I don't know, 7 to 14 days. Personally, I don't have to care because I'm not going to put any money in this, you know, because, you know, you know what? I already take a lot of risk as it is, so, you know, I, I'm all right. You know, plus, America Money already pays basically the same daily APR anyway, and I know that's a smart APR system project because it's effing run by Brando himself, you know. He, he invented smart APR system before I came along. So, I mean, well, I'm going to question Yoda. Right? Are you stupid enough to question Yoda? Right? Because I'm not stupid enough to do that. <laughs> right? And I had to figure all this out on my own, you know? So, which is great because that actually means that I have what it takes to become like a multi billionaire. And now that I, now that God's showing me and guiding me towards, you know, go set up an sh offshore company so I can understand the scam that, you know, the Republicans and super predators and Democrats all run in the world. Now, now I understand the game, right? I'm really gonna understand the game, and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty nice, you know. So, oh, and one other thing before I go, taxes are not designed to generate um, quote unquote revenue or money for the government. It's actually designed to punish people, right? 
because if you actually understand central banking, like I do, and, and, and I, like, and Grand Manorino explains to you, right, you've been listening to either of us for a while, it should occur to you now, as it did to me today, if you have a central bank that literally prints money out of thin air to pay for everything, then why do you have taxes in the first place? Just print more money, you know? That's kind of like the critical thinking portion of this quiz, all right? Because why do we have taxes? Oh, I don't have the thing open. Why do we have taxes on, like, say, Titano and Sphere, right? Isn't that kind of the same thing? Technically, that's true. That's supposed to be the same thing because you see the direct benefit and you get, and you as the so-called Titano or Sphere taxpayer gets back that money. But in, in the government, that doesn't happen, right? You know, you get back like a fraction of 1% of that tax money, right? And then the government and big corporations and other assholes, super predators, take literally 99.999%. So, for example, money was being sent to a foreign country, which I can't name because apparently it's going to violate the term of service. So, it, the, to, a, to a certain situation that's going on, I didn't fucking vote for that. I wouldn't do that. But I paid the fucking taxes. So, what the fuck, right? So did you, right? It doesn't matter if you're in America or not because you also paid the taxes too. Unless you live in, like, India or Pakistan, like someone that's actually signing with China right now as opposed to the West, which is good for you. I just kind of wish that China would just, you know, not be so aggressive towards India, so India would be less pissed off at China, but apparently they are trying to mend things over, so whatever, you know. Um, yeah, because I actually saw on Disclosed.tv that they were, <laughs> that China had a ro another rocket ship or what, a rocket just burn up in space above India, so, I mean, that's kind of mean, you know, it's like, if I, if I were a neighbor, that's literally what it is because India and China neighbor each other. If I were a neighbor and, like, I don't know, I had, like, you know, like, my kid, I don't have kids, but let's have a kid, and he's, like, playing with his, like, Jeep, and then it just, like, breaks apart, and then it just, all that sh debris and shit just flies over my neighbor, next door neighbor. I mean, he has a right to be kind of annoyed at me and my kid, you know? That's So that's kind of what China's doing. So, I mean, I would, I would like China to stop antagonizing people like that because I want people to like them so that everybody will unite against the American regime. And I get the secondary benefit of people not wanting to kick my ass for being Asian because people still want to kick our ass. And once they start up the lockdowns and shit, people are going to want to, like, come after us again, so... Yeah, I don't know. Is anyone in the Chinese Beijing CCP government listening in? Like, I hope you're listening and, like, you know, try to, like, get people to like us more, you know? Like you more so that, like, I don't get my ass killed or beaten or pushed in, pushed onto the train tracks or, or, or something. Anyway, I'm done for the today. I think tomorrow I'll do the smart APR system because, again, I, was, I really thought... Uh, I don't know, but I really thought this project was using it, but I'll at least add this to the... I gotta make sure I note this, because I might actually forget. Stealth launch, advantage, no advantage, uh, downsides, that's, that's the word. So anyway, but it's got a very low circulating starting supply, and it was a stealth launch, so yeah, you can do what, what you want with this. Like, it's very interesting to me personally, but you know what? I, I'm going to do something safer, so that's why I'm going to let this one go, for me personally. If it ever shows up on Yule Wolf, you know, I'll take a look at Ghost DeFi again, and then I'll decide if I'm going to put money into it or not. Uh, okay, yeah, because this is kind of like, uh, let's see, is their website even still around? I mean, this is kind of like what's, what I'm thinking is going to happen, the, like exactly this. They're not using the smart APR system. I mean, I don't even know if I want to go to the zombie finance. Well, their website's still running. Slowly. Poorly. I mean, this is why you have to use a smart APR system. All right, well, they, uh, they can't even get a good web host. All right, well, this is why you have to use a smart APR system. Look how far below peg they, they are because they put all their rewards on the shares and not the peg token, all right? And they still haven't created the single stake. Like, look at this shit. Look at this shit. So anyway, 
on that for today. I will see you all, I think tomorrow, I'll do the Smart APR system video. If there's like a really good launch, and I really, really feel excited, then I'll, of course, do that. I'm kind of hoping I won't, right, because I want to take, you know, I still want to relax a little more, but, you know, I'll pump out some more videos uh, this, this coming week, so. See you tomorrow. I'll do the Smart APR video system thing kind of thing. I explain it because I constantly get this question. Well, not constantly, but I do get it asked occasionally. So, and I'll put that as a featured playlist video. So, uh, let me see. Oh, thank you, by the way, to everyone that's been subscribing and stuff. So, we're, you know, we're growing steadily. You know, we're doing pretty well. And, and it's apparent that, like, YouTube is actually not updating the stats in real time. But instead, they're adding subscribers 10, 20, 30 at a time, multiples of 10. I'm guessing it's because it's to save, to save, you know, uh, resources. So I'm going to have a third playlist. I mean, I really should go in this one. But because I need developers to really see it, that's why, you know, I'm going to put it there. So Because I do want to avoid having too many playlists. So my personal DeFi, gen, da, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I think I should be okay. I'll, I'll put a third playlist here. You know, it's not that much. Plus, you only see that there's only one video in each, which, again, is on purpose. I want I want the playlist place to specifically have very little videos because because it's not designed to gather views. It's designed for quality because you're going to be watching the whole thing. So, And I want you to zero in on that. So, yeah. Anyway, check that stuff out. I probably should do a version, too, like... Oh, I'll we'll wait to like next year or something. I don't know. Like, you know, my personal DGen finance strategy video is like already an hour and 40 minutes long. It's like, come on, man. So, anyway, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how I was able to ramble for 27 minutes, but there you go. But we did cover some other important stuff, too. And, I mean, it's Sunday, so oh, I don't have to check the markets, but. I am. Exp I mean, crypto's already going back up already because we're going back into the active week. So it's the same. It's the same old, same old. So fantastic, you know, fantastic. Go get that bag, my friends.